Let's go. Yes, welcome to another episode of IoT Tuesday. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good dawn, good whatever it is, wherever you find yourself. Welcome to another thrilling episode of the IoT Tuesday show. Yes, we've been off air for two, three weeks or more, I'm sure. Um, thanks to, you know, all of you who were checking up on me, uh, checking up on us, uh, who mourned with us during the passing of my ma, my mother-in-law and the phone run and everything. We're grateful. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, I was a bit under the weather and some other family stuff, so we had to go off air for a while. But we are back in full style. We're back with new stuff. We're back with new information. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, as you know it, before the stream for today, I actually posted a poll for what you wanted us to do on the IoT show next. And you spoke. So when we come back, I will be talking about what <laughs> I'll be talking about the winning poll, and then we're going to start talking about how to build that stake and stay with me. Awesome. We are back, 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 back. And as you know it, as always, um, before we get started, I always want to talk about stop making the news, information, things I need you to know, stuff going on with me and all that before we get into the meat of it. Um, I want to say a big welcome to you all. Welcome to you guys. All of you joining us from all the different parts of the world, I say welcome. Well, so I'm trying to pull up... <laughs> I'm trying to pull up something. Um, sorry, some some people are just some folks are making me um, making me smile, <laughs> making me laugh out on the chat. But hey, I'm going to share that with you um, uh, shortly. So let's see. Uh, and well, a lot a lot has happened, you know, um, since I went off. Uh, a lot a lot has happened, uh, but. But, 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 it's, there's also a lot of stuff that I, I have to share or I want to share with you guys. I don't know where that, strange enough, let's see where that, where that went to. <laughs> okay, um, so I guess, I guess I'll, I will be, um, yeah, bringing this, let me actually put this in, in perspective here. Dara! Yes, 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 yes. There's something actually I want to talk about. Dara, welcome to the show. Welcome, 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 my man. So there's something that I want to talk about. Okay. Um and before we get into before we get into this before we get into this the stream, um for for some of us who create content for you guys to consume, be it podcast, be it um YouTube channel or like daily streams like this. Um, trust you me, there is a lot that goes into getting the streams out. Um, a lot. I, I I must tell you, it's a lot. I mean, for those who've been doing one stream a, a week or even once a month, can tell you how difficult and tough this is. And to not to speak like for us who are doing like multiple streams in a week and uh, you know and all that. For those of you who know my podcast, 
I haven't released new episode for a while because of like, you know, a lot of aside technical challenges as you know, there's time and all that coming in. But trust me, something in the pipeline coming that's going to revamp that. It takes a lot of effort and dedication for us to do this. And sometimes, I know this is a very delicate subject, but but sometimes we 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 come off you know we we have some i won't say anxiety but it's i would say some form of depression you know like and especially in this very you know covid period like when sometimes you feel like oh i don't want to you know put content there like you you feel you've been you've been indoors for a very long time that you want to go out there probably for for example some of the podcasts you know you want to record outside but then you you don't have to do everything virtual so it's it's a lot of effort we go through to bring you the content so it's it's very much appreciated you know when you guys reach out to us and like hey everything all right you know hope things are going well and want you to help us with content and all that we really appreciate that so on behalf of myself and all the other streamers like dara um all the you know all the crazy guys on the continent doing the stream and even outside the squads you know um james all of you know all of us doing stream uh c Shafri, all of us that are putting content out there this is from us to you thank you very much for supporting the channel we really 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 appreciate that okay let's get into it um if you're watching me from let's say facebook or any of the platforms let me know how the stream is like even though it says um i'm dropping frames i don't know if that's if that's experience you're getting but um it would really be helpful if i could get like a feedback from anyone let me actually go check that out like anyone watching me from all, all any of the platforms just to know if it's if it's it's okay but yep 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 let's see i think i am um, i don't know <laughs> why it is uh, but it should okay yeah I, I think it looks it looks okay okay i'll be tracking it from here that's fine okay awesome so first off first off do you guys remember the hand wash thing, hands free soap, what I think that I was building some months, months, months ago? Well, yes. So I actually put it. So UNDP, right, and Hackstar. UNDP and Hackstar started a challenge where they wanted here that we are here. Awesome. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Don't forget to bring your questions and suggestions. Welcome. So I, I put it I put this in and and out of 375 plus um, um, participants or submissions from over 60 plus countries over 2,000 participants um, I am happy to announce I think this deserves a drum roll so like round of applause and that's awesome yeah this yes I'm happy to announce that our submission actually was part of the grand prize winners so out of the 370 something plus um, um submissions uh 10 were chosen uh the top 10 submissions were chosen to win the grand prize and i am happy to announce to you all that our submission was one of the top 10 um um, 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 <laughs> um submissions for the challenge so this is awesome news this is just good and i want to say a big thank you to ishmael uh, Ishmaelante, uh, Ishmaelante, the YouTube guy for, you know, pushing me and say, you know what? Hey, put it out there for people to see. I also want to say a big thank you to my wife who was like, do this for me. I need this project. So Ablan, thank you very much for putting me to task. Um, this is just to tell us that there's a lot more to do now. What this means is that, uh, we're going to get some support, you know, to take this on the next level to like scale it out, to put stuff out there. So, um, I'll be working with Ishmael, of course, and any other, anyone who is interested, uh, to join us build this you're welcome now the other thing is that i'm also a hackster ambassador myself and daniela khan two of us are the hackster ambassadors for ghana now what this means is that we would um be very happy to assist you or assist anyone interested in hacking making breaking doing all this cool stuff for us to come together to do like hackathons to build things we're able to support you in terms of some logistics like 3d printing and other materials to do stuff now what's in the pipeline that we're going to be doing after this challenge is that a number of the submissions have been selected for us to replicate you know for people to use here so we will be building that so anyone out there who is interested in joining us in building um all these things please reach out to me you know my handle at sadrani on all the social media platforms and then you can join us to hack and break. So that's the two things. We won a prize, and I'm also a hackster ambassador. So that's that's awesome news, right? 
okay so let's get to the next let's get to the next one now which is so now i can actually move this here uh let's close this out let's see what we have here so um so the next the next 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 thing what's happening uh yeah 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 so um let me know if you're watching and you you're, you're having some issues let me know so i because i'm trying to um i'm trying to check out you know new isvs for isps for this uh service so let me know how that looks like if the experience is not good i'm also um recording it so i will just put it out there all right cool now <clears throat> the next thing uh i need to bring this up here so if you were being in the audio or music or podcasting and all that you will know that this this is like um the golden child when it comes to um you know microphones i mean if you be, if you do a lot of music stuff you know that this is like a golden child of it now reason i'm showing this is that first of all let's say a big thank you to you know who um he doesn't like me mentioning his name uh you know publicly but thank you very much for this this started as you know a conversation between myself and dara <laughs> on twitter and then you know he was like i mean hey you you can you can have this and one of the things he said that you know got to me was that someone i've been very fortunate and anytime i have the opportunity to help i help and for that i really appreciate it uh watch out for the unboxing and setting up so this will primarily go for the, the podcast and also for the stream, especially for those that do not require me to be moving around like IoT, you see me use this microphone. So a big thank you to you know who, you know yourselves. Thank you very much for this. It's going to be put to use. So now let's get into the meat of things. I think I need to bring this back here. And then um, I need to go to my profile and let's see. Hopefully, I have not taken this away too far. Ah, it's right here. All right, let's get back to this screen. So, before you know, before I I came back, um, I actually put out a poll and I asked that, um, what project do you want to see me build on the IoT show? I put together the smart guarding, the COVID misting tunnel, and then anything, anything, anything people to you know to specify. Now. It ends up being that a lot of you want to see, you want to see us build the ballot, you know, the ballot box tracking system. All right. Now, disclaimer, I have not built the ballot box tracking thing already. All right. So this is going to be like um, a process for all of us to go through to kind of like build it and see what's going to work. So for today's episode, what we're trying to do is that um, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to generally talk about it. We're going to talk about the premises, what, what we want to see in that system. And then I'll share, I mean, top of my head, some of the, the, the things or tooling I think we will need to do it. And then I will, you know, probably pick one and then build upon it. Now, I have to say that disclaimer, the thing is that um, no company or no entity has sponsored this. So anything you see me use is not being sponsored by anyone you know to say that this company is asking me to you know use their their, their tool their hardware or anything no this is strictly stuff i own i bought all right that i'm going to use so just have is this a disclaimer i am putting out there all right cool so let's get this rolling so to get started i think let me switch to the burn. let's get to the bench 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 let's see i need to pull out this thing i think i left something out okay so uh if you can see my bench for those of you that are very familiar with my bench we know that we have a lot of goodies 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 going on on the bench awesome all right if you're joining us welcome to the stream let me put my face here so you can see my face down there and then uh, take it from there right awesome cool so this is our bench all right um now i'm, I'm going to walk through a couple of things here now um how about we we just we just talk a bit about the entire process now if you have been following let's say um elections on the african continent uh you you realize that i mean i'm sure it's a general thing i mean in other places that are not technically you know advanced yet so what happens is that there is um you know a box um let's see if i can let's see if i can bring this in here so let's go ahead and look at how our 
ballot box let's see if we can find some images of the ballot box and share here so let's do images so I, i'm trying to see if i can find one yep exactly 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 so um i don't know if this picture does um justice um yeah this is this is how this is how it looks like all right so this, this is how the ballot the ballot box actually um looks like i just wish i could have um a bigger <clears throat> a bigger one maybe i should just reach out to these people and, and just buy one ballot box just for just for the sakes of um just for the sakes of our yeah for the sakes of the show i think i'll do that i'll reach out to a friend and see if i can buy one or something just to do the project all right or we can use any other box all right so so this is how the ballot box looks like all right like this on the right on the right hand side let me actually see if i can bring this um, yeah bring this all right so this this is how it looks like now if you look closely <clears throat> if you look closely to this picture as well now what happens is that during election time the ballot box is inspected you know by the various parties and all that and the various parties are giving i think they are giving some tags as you can see in the picture on your left this one they're giving some <clears throat> some seals to put on the ballot box you know that um when it's sealed like it's a zip tie and then there are some you know some tags along so along with it now aside the zip ties and the and the tags all right when those are locked technically if it's breached it tells you that that ballot box is void and null and all that and all these stressful uh stuff that go with it now however now there has always been issues of ballot boxes being tempered with even with the seals and the zip ties and all that there's still, you know, there is still the notion that, oh, party A, party B, you know, temper with a ballot box or party or someone took the ballot box. That's that's like the very common one we get. Like someone took a ballot box and stuffed it and did this and did all that to it. That's like the common thing we get. Now, surprisingly, well, is it surprising? We are in election year. There's going to be election in Ghana. I think there's going to be election in America and some other places. It's a four-year term, so it's election year. So I was just thinking, would this be interesting? How can we use IoT to kind of like try to solve a problem with this when it comes to ballot boxes? So if you look at this closely, yes, you can still have your zip tie, all right, covering it. You can have your tags doing that. But how can we add something extra, all right? How can we add something extra that allows you to let's say you know track the the ballot box to know if it's been breached you know and all that you know a couple of things that we can you know we can talk about so with this in mind this is what you know informed you know the whole thing to like okay let's create a ballot box tracking system that we can you know track so what are we trying what are we looking at we're trying to find a way to say okay for every ballot box that leaves the electoral commission or every ballot box that um, is going to be used we can actually pinpoint where the ballot box is we can pinpoint what's happening to the ballot box we can a couple of things we can do to the ballot box all right so um top of my head top of my head i'm thinking that tracking is very important and to track it it's just like tracking any asset so today there are a lot of asset tracking um you know systems and modules all over the market all right we could use any of those to do the tracking that's that's fine However, we want to take it to the next level. Now, for instance, what's the process of activating a ballot box? Let's say when the ballot box is leaving the electoral commission, we want to take, you know, we want to make sure that all parties involved have acknowledged that the ballot box left the electoral commission empty in state A, state B, state C. All right. Now, when that ballot box is in transit, we need to know that the ballot box has moved from point A to point B. Kind of like you're trying to make it transparent. Now, imagine all this data is put like on a blockchain where it can be tracked from point A to point B. And even on election day, imagine that there's a control center where you can actually track all the ballot boxes and at least put them in the, in, in the, in the meter or in the radius of where they are supposed to be during the election. Now, that's the very fundamental thing we want to do. First of all, we want to be able to put a tracking on the ballot box so we can track it. All right. So um, let me just put the ballot box in, 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 in view so you can see it. So 
you want to track the ballot box when it's in the look when when it's in any location that's one number two the issue of ballot boxes being tampered with all right we want to know if a ballot box has moved for whatever reason and there has to be an incident you know attached to that movement all right we want to know that and then number three we want to be able to probably detect when let's say the ballot box is being you know opened you know when it's not supposed to be open or when the seal is broken so let's hold on let's hold on to these three things all right let's hold on to the three things um let me bring my let's bring the notepad out here i i need to set up my tablet so that my so we can be writing some of these things out so let, let's get so the first feature is you know um tracking so which so for the tracking we're, we're looking at you know location so like we are looking at coordinate right so this comes to mind gps all right gps comes to mind and then two uh let's track movement all right uh we can say movement and tracking no let's actually say um position can also be say uh um let's say yeah you let's 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 do movement and i'll, I'll explain that all right um so by movement what i'm i'm trying to talk about is let's say um let me let me demonstrate this i i thought i had um okay i'm i'm going to use i'm going to use this bin as an example all right so if if this bin is here all right if this bin if this bin is positioning this way all right we kind of know we know that we know the position of this bin right now now, if for some reason someone picks this bin up, right, it changes, you know, it changes, it changes a lot of things. It changes the altitude, it changes, um, um, it, it changes the position, you know, or the movement of this box. I know that someone is, you know, is tempering with it. That's that's what that's what I'm I'm talking about. So uh, something like that we can look at, like, a, uh, yeah. So let's just say movement. So things like you know, a gyroscope uh yeah gyroscope would be like the thing so let's let's take movement and then the third one is we're looking at if the ballot box is open all right so um or temper so for instance if you if you lift if you open if you open it up we know that the ballot box has been you know open so let's say open slash close okay so for now for now let's let's hold on to this uh let's hold on to these three um uh, let's see let's see uh let's do this uh so where is that where is that okay so let's do this all right so let's let's bring this in view so this is what i'm so let's hold let's hold on to these three things all right so for now uh these are the three core things I want us to look at. First of all, for the ballot box, we want to be able to track to know its location, so where the physical location of the of the ballot box, and then two, we want to know if it's being tilted, if it's being moved around, all right, and then thirdly, if it's open or closed. These three things. Let's hold on to these three things, all right, and then once we have this at the you know back of our head, our mind, we can actually now go and check what we can, what we need to build something like this. Okay, again, disclaimer. Most of the things I'm going to show, I'm not paid to do them. It's just things that you know I have and own that I'm going to be using uh, to do them. All right, so let's get, let's get, let's come to the bench. So first off, now we we will need a way. We're going to need a way to to track it. All right. So in the first part, tracking, we're talking about GPS. All right. Now, so there are a couple of ways we can do this. We can use GPS modules to do this. Now, if you're not familiar with what GPS module modules are. Uh, this is like an example of a GPS module. All right, let's see if I can bring this a bit. Yeah, awesome. So this is a GPS module. This this is an antenna. All right, and then the module is here. Now this works with the Groove Kit. So if you connect this to, let's say, anything that has a Groove Shield like this, you can you can read the GPS coordinates. All right, of of wherever this thing is placed. So. We can decide to use this. Um, let's let's look at let's look at some of the options uh, on on the things we can use this for. Um, I have I have here uh, a couple of the boards that we're going to be using. So we could we could consider like um, an Arduino Mac uh, 1000, all right, because of the form factor. 
all right we're proud of you bro save us thank you thank you thank you thank you i say thank you so much thank you so much for for joining us um thank you um let me know what you think let me know your ideas on this project and how we can take it you know uh, further so looking at the form factor you've seen the ballot box now we want something that is small that we can easily you know put in or attach to the ballot box that we can easily track so um we can either attach this all right we can either attach this um gprs uh, module to like an arduino um mac 1000 or i mean if you look this is an arduino you know zero sorry this is a raspberry <laughs> raspberry pi zero we could also connect it to a raspberry pi zero all right like this okay so again well i'm just trying to look at i'm just trying to look at the form you know the fo the form factor here so don't don't get it uh or we could also use the like this we could also use the esp32 again looking at the form factor because we need something small that we can connect this to that at the end of the day we don't want to have any you know um how do you call it we don't want to have any um bulky bulky thing all right so that's that's it now um so we, we've seen that and then this here also this is another form of a of a gp of a gprs um, um shield this is an arduino one so it actually sits an arduino like this um so you can you can connect this to an arduino to you know sit on it and then use so we might not probably consider this however you might also want to look out for um how do you call it um uh, we might look out for boards or control boards that already have like inbuilt gprs and all that now this is from particle uh this one has lte on board which means that i can actually communicate or ping i think this one i'm not sure this one has a gps on board but there are there are modules that have gps on board all right so in that case looking at the form factor it's small enough that i can use this you know i can use this and then maybe add the peripherals to it and then i'm done now um these are the so you, these would be your trying to build solution all right if we're trying to build this uh using you know just ways to build and no let's know that this is not like off-shelf solution so this is like trying to figure out okay we need a gprs uh module that is checked we have it here um another thing we need i think i should have it around somewhere we need um a gyroscope or a module that allows us to check the tilt you know if something is happening to it so that would i think i have that in there i will check that um yeah i think i do i have one in there so between all this um i'm leaning towards between the esp and then the particle all right i'm leaning towards not the, the raspberry pi is just too much power to do just this thing and it's quite expensive so we've eliminated them so between anything i can actually also use an arduino uh, nano and Arduino Nano also does the work perfectly. So I'm thinking between the Mac 100 and Nano, and then so these are the boards I am considering. So we can move this to the side here. These are the three things I'm considering for the build. And then we have our, um, we have this here. Uh, we have our GPRS module, which I can put here now. So this is going to track the location for us. And now we need the gyroscope. Hold on, I think I do have it. Keep it cross, keep it cross, keep it cross, keep it cross, 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 cross. I know I have it somewhere. I know I have it somewhere. <clears throat> I'm going to pull it up. All right. Um, all right. No two worries. Uh, you know, hold on. Let's see. I need to pick this up. I know. I know we have it. Hold on. Let me. Let me pull it out here. Um, we have it somewhere here okay that's fine um i'll bring this up um later on let me let me let me quickly push this out so we're just trying to get all the the various parts that we would use um so that it will make it easy very very easy for us when we are you know um building now bear in mind that it might not be necessary all the time to try to build some of these things all right it might even make sense to look at oh is there an off-shelf solution but hey being makers you know we want to build some of these things on our own so 
yep i guess that's what we are going to do so let's see let's see how it's going to play out um i'm trying to quickly uh see if we can get i mean there, there, there are a couple of things there are extra extra things we can add or you know as features to it but for now we just need like the very basics um basics of it to to function so uh let's let's keep it simple <laughs> as they always say it, it's good it's good to keep it very very simple all right very simple um i'll show a couple of things that we can use um in place in place of it all right cool so yeah we are back all right so so don't forget the first part is the gps module give us position we have this one and then i went ahead to pull out so if you look at this if you look at this you see this so this is the um, mpu 95 you know what let's go let's go look it up so that since we're learning so you can see what this is for let's minimize this uh so let's come here and this is the this is the m mpu uh 92 slash 65 yep so this is it so as you can see it's a six axis gyro like gyroscope all right so this allows us to get info on your position you know heading and all that so we can just we can just look at this i think this um this is from diy mall so i think i just want us to go get the spec sheet for this so let's copy this and dy do it yourself mall all right so yeah there you go let's open this up and hopefully you can see this uh yep and now let's look for this because yeah i've just Let's see if you can see this. Uh, I'm gonna bring it in onto the bench so you can see. This is how it looks like. All right, it's just very, you know, teeny. It's just like this, something very, very small. Now, the thing is that these things can be made in a smaller form factor. All right. Um, oh, let's see. It's how we know it. How we know it. How we know it. Okay. No big deal. You can look for it. Yep. Yep. There you go. So this is it. So it's a this actual this one is actually a six axis gyroscope plus uh, accelerometer module that can be used for get to get uh, it can allow you to get the handset, the portable gaming. You can use it in any of these things, but it's basically for you know getting direction heading whether moving whether it's moved or not you can use it so so we can come back and say that for the second part of our requirement we have we have this right so this is how it looks like you know quite simple so we have the second part of our requirement which is this so gps checked uh, accelerometer uh, gyroscope check now the third part we talked about was that is it possible to know whether the the, the lid you know the lid of the bo box is open now top of my mind what comes to mind is that we can actually use um, a magnetic switch to do that uh, so uh, let me just unwrap this and I'll show you how this works so this is how it is it's a pair all right so we could we could mount this on you know on one on the bin itself and then one on the top so that it, as soon as the the, the the ballot box is closed we know that well, there's contact we know that the box is closed if for some reason the ballot box is open when it's not supposed to be open that can also be flagged so in terms of the three of the three um potential features we want our ballot box uh tracking system to have we have the modules for them we've decided on the board now um it's also good to mention that um there are there are other you know there are other um boards and tooling that we can use one of them is soracom i'm trying to find okay um that still uses it uses a raspberry pi zero and some other stuff so it's, it's good to you know just uh run run um off of that now so 
So what we've seen so far, these are solutions that are, you know, this is when we are trying to build it. Now, however, there's also the possibility of you considering, you know, off the shelf tools. And that is what I'm going to be talking about uh, next. And then we're going to weigh the options. Do we go for the, you know, off shelves or do we, you know, build like what we are doing because the learning process for us. So I'm going to be talking about, I've mentioned, I think I mentioned them a couple of times on the show. So let me, let me move these all our stuffs to this side and then we can bring this in view so i'm going to be talking about um let me send it so you can see it this is it's from a company called istimote all right istimote they they develop they build a lot of um bluetooth beacon beacon low energy um, um devices all right now they have a couple of off-shelf solutions that um, I think could also be used in replacement of, you know, trying to build the whole solution from scratch. Okay, so that's what I'll be talking about. Now, I'm going to quickly talk about a few of their stuff and then I'll, I'll zoom in on the one that I think, you know, might help. All right, so uh, let me start with this, their stickers. So this they call Nearables. Uh, they are Bluetooth Low Energy Beacons. So what these are like very tiny, tiny stickers, you know, that have, uh, let's see what these have. So these have uh i think these have like um some uh sensors in in them gyroscope so yeah so this one's uh so this one has the the gyroscope this one has also a processor in it range of seven meters so so if you if you consider if you consider this where's our gyroscope if you consider this gyroscope here all right and then this sticker now this also has a bluetooth low energy beacon in it all right and this so look at this one factor and this one factor so if i have something like this i could easily just it has a sticky thing at the back right here i could just peel this you know and then stick it somewhere on the ballot box now the only drawback to this is that this is blue to low energy which means we will not be able to tell the location of this device unless of course there's an accompanying gateway that is placed at the polling center to actually be transmitting information to wherever it is that is when we can look at it so we can look at making the bins themselves um, dump until or let's say we call them um, um, passive until there's an active device or active gateway somewhere that connects to the bin and allows the bin to actually communicate its location to wherever i want to send it that's one way so we can decide to use the the if, we, if, if you're thinking of the stickers uh, that is the drawback all right that is a drawback um to uh, to the stickers all right so for me i would say that this is a no no because this is just even though it has accelerometer and everything it, it just bluetooth we can't get a live location so this is a no no from them but you can check this out this is from istimo there's some really really cool um use cases for this i'll talk about this in demystify tech um sometime um in in the series um now the next thing uh, they have uh, these are just location beacons all right now these are also bluetooth but the thing is that these do not have like um how do you call it gprs for you to triangulate and find where they are they work in the context of where they've been defined or where they've been placed and they also just communicate by bluetooth they're able to tell you where they are and all that so pretty much um this also is not like a candidate this uh, like an advanced version of of this one so these two are not candidates for me so it's a no for this two as well now uh this one obviously no i've talked about their mirrors before uh so the estimate mirrors also um this this have really 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 cool i think i'll do a demo i think one of these days i'm going to do a demo on 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 this one uh on this the uh, mirror uh this has nothing to do with look like the location stuff so this is also boom, boom, this is also out good this is what i want us to consider they are lte beacons now this have um they have lte which means they have a mobile reach they also have gprs uh that's they have the gnss already in it this is how it looks like so if you pick it up this said now this is a development kit so now look at the size of this uh relatively um sizable so it has a you know gprs it's cloud connected and it's also bluetooth now this also has the gyroscope has pretty much it pretty much has everything we're looking for packaged in one system like this 
right? So for something like this, we could easily also have a sticky thing at the back, all right? So all we need to do would be to peel this again and stick it inside the ballot box before the ballots are put on it. So if you look at this, this seems to be like a ready-to-go solution, all right? A ready-to-go solution to do that. Um, so GPRS, Bluetooth, it's, it has everything, gyroscope and everything. Now, the only thing this doesn't have is the ability to determine if the ballot box is open or closed. That is the deficiency. However, this actually allows for extension. It has, um, it has this, uh, this thing where we can actually connect like um, some IoT, uh, like we can connect extra devices to it. And then we can actually program this as well. That's the cool thing. This can be programmed. So out of all the solutions we're looking out for, okay, or that we are considering uh, for, 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 for this, this, this are the candidates. Either we go for the Istimote LTE beacons, this one, or we go for the, the homemade solution where we try to build everything using one of these kits, all right? Now, I know that is, I know that's gonna like a lot of information to consume right now. So the next thing I want us, I want you guys to help me to do, all right, is amongst all these things we're talking about, amongst all these things we've talked about, do you prefer us to go with the off-shelf solution, which is the Istimot LTE one, all right? Or, you want us to build our own solution using one of one of the boards we picked all right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a poll all right i'm going to create the poll again on twitter and on on linkedin and all that depending on the highest you know selection that is what we're going to go with at least now we know the requirement we need to be able to track the ballot box we need to be able to know if the ballot box is moving around we need to know if the ballot box is open or closed so these are the features of our ballot box tracking system so before we enter this episode if you want us all right if you want us to use the estimate off shelf or you want us to use any of the arduino flavors together with our um, um, gprs module and then the magnetic switch to determine if it's open or closed i'm going to create a poll let me know what you think and then we will go with that route. I hope um, <laughs> I hope that is interesting enough for you. And let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. Let me know what you think um, in in my on my social media timeline. Just tell me what you think about this, and then we're going to create it that way. With that said, I also want to um, say a big thank you to all my followers, uh, to all the fans, all those wanting me to create content. Uh, what, I want you to be, uh, keep, keep a lookout for um, the first ever IoT workshop. Uh, I mean, hands-on, the first ever hands-on IoT workshop in town, all right? First ever hands-on. So there's going to be, um, we're going to give out um, Arduino boards as part of the participation. Uh, we're going to, you know, see how basically you can connect to this. We're, going to, we're trying to get some sensors and all that. If you are interested if you are interested in joining the IoT Bootcamp, uh, reach out to me. I'll share. I'm going to share information on my um, on my all my social media platforms. I'm going to share a form for you to fill if you're interested in the Bootcamp. Uh, it's going to come with hardware as well. So if you're interested, let me know, and then we are going to get this started. Until then, stay safe. COVID is real. Big stuff. Break stuff. Quit stuff. Have fun. And I'm going to connect with you again same time next week for another episode where we actually begin to build the module so till then stay stay be safe love one another be kind and peace out <laughs>